Today, we're going to talk about what exactly happened the day that Tina Ball had her stroke. Ball facts coming back at you again. Facts. Jello, ball facts. Jello might get buckets in that game. And we going to give you the facts. And that's facts. All right, guys, this is a sensitive subject, so I'm going to be sensitive. And I'm doing this video because some people know or some people may want to know because they have a genuine concern about Tina and they just interested in her story. So this is ball facts and when, where a lot of channels, you know, they're only going to cover the basketball. I'm going to cover every aspect of it. And Tina Ball is a big aspect of the family. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys exactly how it happened. Now, when it first happened, they didn't really want to make it public or talk about it. There was a report that your mom had suffered a stroke. I just wanted to know if that was the case and how you're holding up. Oh, uh, I got no comment on that, man. It's a family thing. And that makes sense because... The first couple months, I'd say the first two weeks were really rolling because we didn't know if she was going to live or die. No matter if you're playing basketball or whatever you're doing, you're going to be affected when you're not sure if your mother is going to live to see tomorrow. When I found that out, you know, it kind of hit me kind of hard. Good news is, which we all know, that she did recover. I can walk better and talk better oh and patience. And since then, the family has opened up about it a little more. So we're going to talk to LeVar Ball and he's going to give us the detailed story of how this went down. So LeVar, please go back in time, take your mind to when it happened, if you will, and just walk us through what happened the day she had the stroke. How was it? Uh, I was outside working with some kids and then uh, Big Bobby came inside and said, hey, LeVar, I need you inside for what? And I said, hey, what the hell? Tina's inside. Go get her. So it was just a regular day of you outside training kids. I'm out here with all these kids. I don't need to be doing nothing. I'm doing something else. And he was like, no, it is Tina. And I was like, oh. I know that had to be hard. Now, what did you do next? So then I went inside and she was laying on the couch and her eyes was just going up in the hand. I was like, Tina, are you up? And she was like, just looking in the days like, man. Wow. Guys, it was just a normal day. LeVar in the backyard training the boys. Tina in the house doing what she does. And that quick, everything changed. That's crazy. That's why you have to appreciate the people you have around you, give honor where it's due, and really just treat the people around you like it could be your last day with them. And the cool thing about LeVar is he always had hope. He knew that Tina was going to get better. She wasn't going to stay like she was. She's going to get better. I know it. Whether it takes one year, two years, three years, where am I going? We all in this together. Talk about speaking things into existence. We all know Tina's doing better. If you haven't seen the update video I put out on her, check this one out and check this one out as well. Guys, this was what exactly happened the day that Tina Ball had her stroke. Prayers go out to her and her family that she continues to get better. And I'm glad she's doing well and better and better, better already. All right, guys, you know what it is. Share this video. I want you to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. Ball facts again. Peace.